Welcome to another edition of Hammerhead Hobbies. In this episode, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this MiG-21 MFN by RV Aircraft. All right, this is the MiG-21 MFN by RV Aircraft. Now this is a 1272 scale and the model number is 72031. Okay, looking inside at the instruction sheet, very basic instructions here. They do have some good sprue layout numbering here. So instead of looking on these actual sprues for the number, you can just look on this sheet and it tells you where on the sprue it is. It's a nice addition here. And then you have very basic steps for this model. It's only five steps in total. Uh, so I would suggest if you are doing this model to really dry fit it because it doesn't look like there's exact placements of everything it just kind of shows narrow to a basic location so I would tend to dry fit everything prior to gluing it in moving on to the paint schemes and decal placement and as you can see it doesn't really have decal numbers it just kind of shows you how or a general idea where they're placed it doesn't tell you which number of decal it is and, but there is a wide variation of different patterns here. Looking at the decals over here, so you have a lot of the numbers for the different variations. Uh, there is some small detailed ones over here. Now the color is crisp and the detailed ones, not so clear. Uh, the little tiny ones are not so clear, but still fairly clear enough for the size of the model. Uh, but the color is very nice it's bright blue here red and uh, different variations of black all right moving on to the sprues i guess we're going to start off with the fuselage sprue now looking at the interior of the fuselage there is no detail here where the cockpit area would be flipping it over i see some very nice detail here I don't know if you can see that there's lots of panel lines and rivets now these are all recessed panel lines and rivets so that's nice to see okay it just makes it easier for shading and detailing when they're rec recessed instead of raised over there so that's the fuselage area going over to another sprue here so these are the wings here and as you can see again great detail on the wings you see lots of panel lines, lots of rivets there on both wings. Now there are a lot of small pieces. These are wheel well covers. And again, they got good detail on the outside. Same with these elevators um, and horizontal stabilizers. Again, this is the bottom portion of the wing. Uh, over here, they give you two different sets of wings. I'm not sure why, uh, but they both look the same. And again, there's the wheel well. They give you some basic pattern inside the wheel well. Okay, you can see the good detail on that. And inside the wheel well covers, or those could be the air brakes. I'm not sure. I think they're the wheel well covers. And all the little tiny pieces here, you can see there's all these. They're very thin. They're nice and thin. That makes it more realistic. But being thin like that makes it a lot more brittle. So you got to be really careful on how you handle this one. Uh, looking on the wheels here, I don't see a tread pattern on the wheel itself. Okay, it looks smooth to me. And then the wheel hub, I don't see much detail on that at all. It's just circles there for the wheels. Now again, there's different wheels here. So there's another wheel. Again, very basic. There's no tread pattern on it. The detail on the, on the center hub is really not there. It's a little bit of detail, but not much. Over here on the strut, looks like the front wheel strut. There's some good detail on it. It's very thin, which is nice. It makes it more realistic, but again, a lot more fragile. So again, you gotta be careful. Even these pieces over here, there's a really thin. Be careful even cutting them off the screws. Sometimes they break, depending on how old the plastic is or how old the plastic is there. Okay, now this particular model came with resin cast cockpit area. So if you see this, 
this is the cockpit area here. Okay, it's all cast in resin, so this is not the same material or plastic uh, that the, the rest of the model is made from. Okay, so this is resin. It's harder to glue. Uh, it's a harder, a little bit harder material. That's why they can make nice detail on it and, and make it thinner. Going over to the pilot seat here, you can see the good detail on the pilot seat and the joystick. It doesn't have the same detail, but the pilot seat, you can see how tremendous detail there. Now this came standard with this model. They, this is not additional pieces that were bought later. Now this is the front wheel well, okay? And you can see how nice and deep that is. Makes it very realistic where the wheel can actually go in there. And the instrument panels right here, so you can see how much detail went into that instrument panel on this resin cast here. Now, a lot of this stuff you have to cut out manually. Okay, uh, again, just be careful. It's a harder material to cut out. Um, so just be careful here. And here is the front nose cone. Okay, and they can make it nice and sharp there. This piece, it could have been plastic. I don't know why they cast it in resin, uh, but that definitely could have been a plastic piece. Okay, moving on to some other detail pieces here. Okay, so this is what they call photo etching. So this is a thin piece of metal. Okay, and you can see the detail that goes into some of these pieces here. And you can't put that detail in plastic. You can only put it in metal. Okay, again, these pieces are fragile. They are bendable. Okay, so... And they're very thin, which makes it look a lot more realistic. And you can't use regular uh, glue some, uh, for that. you got to use a different type of glue because it's metal. So metal will not melt. Very nice. It's called photo etching. And there's resin pieces. And again, this came standard with this model. Moving over to the canopy area. Okay, it looks like it came off the sprues here. So starting off with the front of the canopy. Okay, it's nice and thin, as you can see there. Okay, but again, be careful because it makes it fragile. It's fairly clear. It's got a little bit of a waviness to it. Okay, so not the best canopy in the world. And then over here, they give me two different canopies. Okay, this one here, again, this is nice and clear. Um, I need the color. And again, it does have a bit of a waviness to it or it's not perfectly, perfectly clear. And lastly, it's another same canopy. Don't know why they give you two. Well, different versions. One has something on top. Uh, this one doesn't. And again, same thing here. It's nice and thin. It's clear, meaning it's the color is good. Uh, but there is a slight waviness to it. Now, if I were to put this over here, you can see how it kind of distorts the image underneath. Okay, not as clear as you'd want it considering the interior is such a good decal. All in all, this model, some parts are impressive. Uh, some parts can they could have worked on instead of, you know, adding those resin pieces and the other ones. They could have made this a little nicer even just with the plastic pieces. So stick around and I'll give you my summary with the pros and cons. Okay, starting off with the pros. This is a very detailed paint variations guide. This model has excellent exterior detail with recessed panel lines and rivets. They added very detailed resin cockpit area. This model comes with photo etch pieces, which adds realism. Now for the cons. The instructions have poor placement detail. There's no armament provided as pictured on the box. There's not enough detail on the wheels and landing gear. And this model is definitely not for beginners. Overall, it's a good model, but RV aircraft could have done better on the wheels and added the armament as pictured. This model tends to be expensive due to the photo etch and resin parts. I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope you enjoyed the build.